Hello. I'm doing my February favorites right now because it's March 1st and that's just how you gotta do things, you know what I mean? So the first thing I'm going to mention is my philosophy, purity made sim simple, oh my god I can't talk today, um, one step facial cleanser. That's what this is called. It hasn't, you know, made my skin dry out or anything yet, so we'll see if I continue to like it, but so far I'm enjoying it. Next, for Christmas, my cousin had given me this Lalia hand cream. This is the Relax one, and it's obviously the tiny version. What was funny about that was that I had been wanting one of these for a really, really long time. I had been wanting to try them for so long. And then she just happened to read my mind and get it. I cannot say enough good things about this hand cream. This is like my favorite right now and I have a lot of lotions and shit. When I run out, I'm gonna be forced to repurchase this because I love this so, so much. Okay, on to makeup, yay. God, I hate when I sit on my bed and everything like slides down to meet my fat ass. So first of all, I have exciting news. I finally hit pan on something. That was this month, I hit pan on my Hello Flawless Benefit Powder stuff. I've been using this a lot in February, like a lot, clearly. This product and I have like kind of like a back and forth type of relationship, you know, we're together and things are going great and then we break up, we, you know, we take a break, we want to see other people and then we just always come back to each other. I don't know why that is with this out of all the other products that I have, I have no clue. I mean, to me, there's not anything particularly special about this particular face powder, but I just, I don't know. I use it a lot, and when I use it, I find that people compliment my face more. You know, they're like, oh, your skin looks nice today. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. I'm going to throw in my Bare Essentials Bare Skin Eyeshadow? I don't know. They, I bought this as an eye glimmer. It, this is so freaking amazing. I'm gonna try to swatch it for you guys just because it's that amazing. But can you see this? There it is on my hand. Speaking of loose eyeshadows, I'm gonna throw in my Vanilla Pigment from MAC. This is such a multi-use product and I love multifunctional products. <laughs> like I really love them. Like what I'll do with this is I'll just put it all over my eyelid, down into the tear duct, up to the brow bone, and then I'll just take it along my cheekbones, you know, do that type of thing. And I'm done. I'm pretty much done. Add some lip gloss and I'm good to go. The next two eyeshadows, I'm gonna kind of pair them together because I've been wearing them mostly together, but that would be my two Mega Metal eyeshadows. This one is Prance, and this one is Center Stage. And that's the two of them on my hand. Like, look at how insane those are. What I've been doing with Center Stage, more than anything, is using it as an eyeliner. I'll just take a little bit of that and put it along my lower lash line, upper lash line. I put Prance all over the lid, and I'm good to go. It's awesome. Still going along with eyeshadows. This, um, what is this? Birthday suit from Too Faced in the Naked Eye palette is amazing. I've shown it to you guys before, but check that out. Also, I've been really, really, really enjoying Skinny Jeans, the, um, my Benefit Creaseless Cream eyeshadow. And here we go. If you're wondering what those little craters are, I'll tell you what I've been doing with this. Really, really, really simple, okay? I have been taking this all over the lid and then I'll take like a little liner brush and I'll dab it in there and it's really soft so when you go to dab it kind of, you know, does a little more than you want it to. And I just put it right along my lower lash line, mascara, and I'm good. I'm good to go. That is it. That's the entire look. Freaking amazing. I mentioned this in my last favorites video. And I think I mentioned it in the one before that, maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and say it again, because this is 
a holy grail product to me and I'm just going to continue to put it in every favorites video until people tell me to stop. <laughs> um, and that is my pearl cream color base. I have three different lip glosses here. Two are MAC, one is a philosophy one. The, the philosophy one is this bubblegum lollipop one. It's one of their um, lip shines or something. The fact that one, it smells just like bubblegum. Hello. And it really is a lip balm and a lip gloss in one. Like, I absolutely love this. So I have my sister to thank for turning me on to this. And the next two are MAC. And the first one is Devilishly Stylish. So I wear this all the time. And the other lip gloss is Ethereal. I feel like the Lightfully Bright collection was really downplayed. Um, I think that people kind of overlooked it because MAC didn't make a big deal out of it, but I really think that if you like you know, if, if you like things that completely transform a lipstick or just your lips without being like, you know, like a big bam of color, you really should check this out before you can't get it anymore. I, I really can't say enough good things about this. Two lipsticks. One is the Fairy Glen, which I just... I might have mentioned this in my other favorites video too. My last one. Whatever. My bad. I have three lipsticks. I said two. Um, this one is Victorian. In one of my videos recently, I, I'm going to actually link that below because so many people ask me what it was I was wearing on my lips in that video and I was an asshole and got busy and completely forgot to answer those comments and I'm sorry. In that video, I was wearing Victorian and Ethereal. And the last lipstick is actually one that I got towards the end of the month, and I completely have Sh -sh -sh Shoshana to blame for this. Um, rather be Dancing 3. This is High Tea, and this is one of those lipsticks that I kept putting off on buying, even though I knew I wanted it. And ever since I got it, I have been wearing it almost non-stop. It's just, I think it's a new holy grail lipstick for me. It's just amazing. I'm actually going to throw in two brushes, believe it or not. Um, this crown brush, okay, I hate the crown brushes a lot. I can do a review if you want, and I will be happy to do it because I don't think enough people have been telling the truth about them. But this little brush, and please don't ask me what it is because I have no clue, which kind of defeats the purpose of putting it in here, but this brush, I know it's part of the studio line. Um, it is perfect, absolutely perfect for inner corner highlight. It is absolutely perfect. And that's what I have been using it for. That's the only thing I have used this brush for. Um, I would like to find you know, maybe a better brush that doesn't shed so freaking much, but like is basically the same thing as this. And the next brush I'm gonna mention is my MAC 217. I had no idea I would love this brush as much as I do. I had absolutely no idea, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm just amazed at how much I love this brush. I think that people were right in telling me that you don't like using brushes because you haven't found the right ones. And I think maybe that's true. Because this brush is just... I, I love this brush. I would marry this brush if it was legal to marry a brush. And the last thing in my favorites is a perfume. And that would be my Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. And I absolutely love this. I mean, it's floral, and I don't usually like floral, but this is like the perfect floral. It's like a clean, crisp, springy floral. I don't, I don't even know how else to describe it. And by the way, the lasting power of this is incredible. 
you know when you have a perfume on and then you put like a sweatshirt on or a sweater or a long sleeve shirt whatever and then like right there where your wrist was it smells like it it will make my shirts and jackets and sweatshirts smell like that for days like for days and days and days it's so amazing okay that's my favorite I hope that you guys enjoyed this and let me know what your favorites are and I will talk to you later. Ta-ta.